back to the IGCC LXR 1 to 9 uh, series with question 10 2D radiation or radioactivity is the section 2018 June paper 1. Um, so, formula sheet as normal, um, I'm sure that's going to be a lot of use. Um, we've got to learn this stuff. So, um, when americium decays, it emits uh, alpha particles to form neptunium. Neptunium is a symbol. MP, uh, complete the nuclear equation for the decay of Amaristum 241. So it's really, really simple. You should recognize an alpha particle is a mass of four, two protons, and thus you have to subtract two off the original proton number. Um, and then after the decay, the neptunium emits gamma. So what happens to the protons and neutrons? So let's think, well, in gamma, um, the number of neutrons does not change. Um, the number of protons doesn't change um, or you might say nothing changes for both marks or it stays the same so relatively straightforward um, part d there diagram shows cross section for a smoke alarm so there's my smoke alarm in normal operation count rate measured by the counter is 100 counts per second if the count falls below 80 the alarm is going to go off I explain how rising smoke causes the alarm to sound so the smoke goes up and clearly blocks the alphas, or well, the alphas must be absorbed. So the alpha is absorbed, it cannot penetrate the smoke. Second marking point, less or no alpha particles reach the detector, so they would allow not as many, and they would say ignore that the count rate falls as that's in the question already. So two marks. And uh, part E, one. Amorism 241 has a half-life of 430 years. You've got to describe what's meant by half-life. Lots of choice with this, um, so it makes it tricky. So look, time taken, or they would allow how long it takes. They would reject the time, and then either for the radioactivity to half, allow count rate, for half the radioactive nuclei atoms or isotope to decay, they would ignore element or substance. It would reject particles, molecules, break down, reactivity, a nucleus, an atom, so and half in mass, and to completely uh, fully decay. So there's lots of stuff they wouldn't have. You are, you're basically looking at the simple idea, aren't you, saying the time it takes for the radioactivity or activity to half, the count rate to half in the nuclei itself, okay? Right then, and the last part of this. So americium-242 has a half-life of 16 hours and is a beta emitter. Explain why it's not suitable for use in a smoke detector. Well, yes, it gives out alpha, but the half-life is 16 hours. So after 16 hours, half of it's gone. So I'm not sure you'd be very happy if you went to the shop to buy one. Um, you could talk about beta would penetrate the case. So bringing the idea of beta would get out of there. So it has to be um, alpha because it says beta emitter clearly, doesn't it? You could say beta would not be absorbed by the smoke, so beta would just go through, they would penetrate. Um, the smoke alarm would need replacing frequently, because the half-life is so short, you could bring in that when you allow that the source would not last as long. And you could say that the alarm would trigger naturally due to the decreasing count rate, so you'd get false alarms, wouldn't you? So there you go, question 10 on radioactivity.